Adjective, it's Stephanie. Today I'm going to talk about some cases where covers or synopsis lied to me. That's the title and I have no idea what else to call it. So I, I have five books here that I'm going to talk about. And I'm going to start with the one that I have an example of what I expected. And it's this one. Uh, Mouse Bell book. Disney Descendants. It's basically the spell book that now... I don't remember what the actress is called. But I expected this to be kind of the spell book. Because we have these books from Harry Potter. So I basically expected this to be kind of like this. This one has... This is... Well, it's a Swedish translation, but this is the first kind that came out from the Fantastic Beast. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see that they're like add-on text for like a note that Harry and Ron did. And I kind of expected this to be the same thing. What it turned out to be was basically some text here and there, but mostly their notes. So it's like a textbook or like a normal book and then there like some of the illustrations are pretty but it's like then we have pages of pages with their text which I mean fine but not enough of like the actual book itself it's too obvious that like if this is a spell book that Mal should have gotten from Maleficent, why is there so many empty pages where they well, where they where they can just like lump up a bunch of text on? Like, I would be, be that was basically what was disappointing. And then we have like, it's so many. Like, I can understand in the back if there's some free spaces. Because, let's face it, how many of us actually use a book for school or something from the front to actually the very last page. But I like that there was more of their text than in this one. Because this one has just like a few lines here and there. But it's not enough of like the actual like book that they were writing in. That was not enough. Ruby Celeste and the Ghost of Marda. I have talked about this before, but um, in another video, I, right now I can't remember what it was called, but this is, according to the synopsis, we are following Ruby, Ruby Celeste, that's the captain of an airship, and they are looking for the Ghost of Marda. We don't really follow Ruby. We follow specifically one person that's new to the crew but we don't really follow Ruby like at all this is a short book it's just over 200 pages 214 but we don't really follow Ruby we may be following Ruby for like 20 of those pages yeah the next one was a I looked through it and the illustrations look cool, so let's buy it, even though it's clearly aimed for children. And that was Don Fem Femton Mest Don Mest Femton Agasiva Dear Sir. It's ve in Swedish this grammar like makes no sense. Don Femton Mest Agasiva Dinosaur, so like this should be at the front. But the 15 most aggressive dinosaur. Actually, it's the same in Swedish, in English. Um, but this one I definitely got because I looked through it and had nice illustrations. But so aggressive dinosaurs. This should be about aggressive dinosaurs. And maybe some idea of why they would think that they were aggressive. You know, just just, just a thought. Um, a lot of them are uh, carnivorous, which would make sense, like, kind of, yeah. 
So they have a lot of like carnivorous beasts, but then they also have plant eaters, which plant eaters can also be very aggressive. Um, obviously they end with Tyrannosaurus, but it's like, why are they calling these dinosaurs aggressive? What they are like tough? What, why do they think that? Not really any explanation. If something says aggressive dinosaurs, I would like to know why are they aggressive? Not just, oh, they eat other dinosaurs. Well, yeah. Continue. Like, I would like something more from that. I just realized how, how I ended that. Did not sound like proper English, but let's just roll with it. The next one. Oh, this looks so good. So you created a wormhole. The Time Travels Guide to Time Travel by Pil uh, Phil Hornshaw and Nick Hurwich. It looks beautiful. This is stunning. This was definitely just this look. This reminds me of like Fallout. That was the main reason why I bought this. This reminds me of Fallout. I need it. And this one basically is about time travel. And I had hoped, like, how to explain it. I have other books like this about vampires and werewolves. And I think I wanted something like that. This one basically runs on the premise that all the time travel movies are true and are in fact like instruction videos. It leaned way too heavily on the movies are true. So that's how time travel works. It, it was fun to recognize several of the references but without though like without even half of those references this would have fallen through completely and if you don't know the references then you're bad luck yeah as i said it goes on the premise that time travel works because the movies have told you that they do Probably not, but I, yeah, I kept on reading, hoping that it was going to be better. Mm. I now have another one called How to Invent Everything. That's also like a time travel fact book, and I'm hoping that that's better than this one. I'm crossing my fingers about that, actually. I wonder if anyone is annoyed that I keep on like changing that I don't go in the order that I put them in but I want to go from widest to smallest I don't know why I just want to actually it's symmetry but next thing last book Kill the Farm Boy by Delilah S. Dawson and Kevin Hearn again I've talked about this before in the same video, I think, that I talked about Ruby Celeste and the Ghost of Mada. Kill the farm boy. You read the synopsis. You laugh at certain points of it. And... A plucky farm boy will find more than he bargained for on his quest to awaken the sleeping princess in her cursed tower. First is the Dark Lord, who wishes for the boy's untimely death, and also very fine cheese. Like, I expected something completely different, and like in the first, like, I think it's in the first, like, three chapters, it's completely like, no, that's not what this story is about, and it's an expectation, expectation one in this one, definitely. But, oh, I really wanted what I was expecting, but I can't tell you what I was expecting, because that would be a spoiler. As in a massive one. Uh, the sequel was better, in my opinion, probably because of, like, I didn't have the expectations that I had for this one, but 
Yeah, love the title. Everything I wanted that specific thing. Maybe if my friend, my friend, I have more friends, like one more, but I probably will answer like her comment if she wants to know, but uh, I wanted one thing, I did not get this. I'm so disappointed about that fact. Yes, Norton, I know. I have two antiviruses program and both of them like flashing in the corner and going, update, update, we have done something here. And I'm like, yeah, I know, stop it. <laughs> but those are some of the books that I have been disappointed by because I was, most of the time I was probably expecting more, but that's what a synopsis is supposed to do. It's supposed to get you interested and expect certain things. And according to me, these slide. Bye.